Hello, Hello Floss Tube. We're, we're the, the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch. I'm Priscilla. And I'm Chelsea. And I'm Ronnie. Hi, Ron. <laughs> and we tried to get the cat, but we couldn't wrangle him, so without... It'll happen, guys. <laughs> Don't worry. It'll happen. <laughs> he's the meanest cat in America. <laughs> he's, he's, he's coming around. <laughs> um, <laughs> we had some shout-outs this week, so thank you so much to our subscribers, our likers, our dislikers. All of you. Commenters. We, 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 are, we are so blessed and lucky that we have all of you to watch us and like us and comment and send us things and just it's, be our buddies. Yeah. It's great. Um, Cupcake Stitcher. So she's a newer floss tuber. She's stitching spring seasons in chalk, so go check her out. Kathy from Needle in a Haystack. So that's the shop that we always mention in uh, Alameda, California. She started her own floss tube, Needle in a Haystack, and uh, one of her latest videos is a tour of the Nashville market. So she was videoing while she was there. And it's, it's very interesting, yeah. Interesting to see. So if you don't know what market is or if you want to see kind of through yeah. their perspective, take a look at that video. It'll be linked below for you guys. Um, Once Upon a Stitch. And then Stitcherista is going to be stitching up the Tulip House by Hands on Design and Mom Chalk for the Home. Yep. And on Instagram, Star Trek Sandy One. She's stitching uh, Chalk on the Farm, uh, Fresh Eggs Farm, mm -hmm. on like tea dyed looking fabric um so you can That's see awesome. what it looks like on that you know mm -hmm. a lot of people have hesitations for stitching on black but this pattern looks great on that kind of fabric as well all right uh claudio wanted to know for questions this week claudio wanted to know what are the carrots behind you i got them in an estate sale and it was a set of two there's peas and the carrots and they're from 1974 so i put them out every spring because they're just Cute and springy. Bill and Roberta, they said Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got them a couple years ago to the state sale. Um, Andrea, she's got to learn crochet now. What videos do you recommend? Mm -hmm. Just, uh, I don't remember who I watched. I watched a lady who started off with teaching me the pretzel. Was it that that first lady that you watched for Melanie Ham? Yeah. So Melanie Ham has a ton of tutorials on crochet. Um, if you're just looking to do dish, which I recommend starting with dish rags because they're easy stitches um, and they're small projects like cross stitch. If you start with something small and you get it accomplished, you yeah. feel like you want to keep doing it. Um, so Melanie Ham is somebody I watch, but just type in, you know, beginner crochet, mm -hmm. learn to crochet. I typed in learn crochet for kids because I know how to crochet, but I asked her to watch a video. Before it's easier for me. Yep. I sat there and said okay do this do this do this so she kind of learned from the video and then I and it's nice to watch the video too so you can learn uh, how to read the patterns I still am struggling with that but you can learn the names of things like single crochet double crochet mm -hmm. turn yeah because all she's doing in the the dish class is single crochet and chain stitch to start so yeah it's not a big production uh, Terry wanted to know what is the chart behind Chelsea it's Blackbird Designs Easter Parade I think it's out of print chart it, I did it, stitched it last year. It's on my blog, so you can find out more about it there. Margo wanted, she said she's confused. Which dogs belong to who? Um, so I only have one. Ronnie is mom's dog, and um, I have the other three, Liberty, Layla, and Daisy. Um, I stayed at my mom's house for quite a while these last two weeks, uh, avoiding the plague at my house. Everybody is getting better. My husband is on his last couple days. <laughs> My oldest, uh, it turned into an ear infection, so she's on her final days of antibiotics. So everyone's getting better, but um, she took a picture with Daisy in it, too, and everybody thought she got a new dog, but no. Mm -hmm. It was just Daisy at the bed and breakfast. We did get the cat, though. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> Susan wanted to know what color writ dye and what color was the fabric before it was dyed for our aqua fabric. It was white. And I'm not sure the name of the writ dye, but... I think it started something with aqua. It's the lightest blue of the... It's not like the royal or the navy or anything mm -hmm. like that. And we only kept it in for a short amount of time. Mm -hmm. um, and then we slapped it in a pot of tea mm -hmm. to antique it. And we didn't put it in the oven. And next time I do it, I'm going to put it in the tea for a little bit longer. Because mm -hmm. I want a little bit more of the old and crusty. Old and crusty. <laughs> All right, um... And Trish, it was it was good to work with because that's what I my finish is on that and it, it, it didn't, didn't close up the holes. I was so yeah. nervous. So we had bought a couple bottles of written. I was like, let's just wait mm -hmm. to see how this turns out. But because it's a lighter fabric, it um, it didn't close up the holes like some of the 
dark browns and blacks. I don't know if that's because we didn't put it in the oven. I don't know. I didn't put them brown in the oven, but I think it's because you leave it in the dye longer to get it darker and things yeah. like that. All right. Um, and uh, Trisha and Judy want to know what is the dishcloth pattern. Somebody had said they found the pattern on Mom's blog. So it's most likely there. Um, if not, go to... Um, a couple of years ago, yeah. Yeah. And that's that's there's like an those. index on the side with mm -hmm. keywords that you can like click on crochet or something and take to, to all to, the blog posts that have to do with that. So, yeah. um, if you can't find it there in my comments on my Instagram, I tried to relay the best pattern that I could without it's knowing just single how to crochet write it and it's very easy. Um, Cindy and uh, Kansas Julie from my Instagram, they wanted to know, you know, painting the frames with chalk paint, do you have to sand or what do you use to paint the frames? So we use Rust-Oleum's chalk paint. If we're painting something black, she uses uh, the, regular the chalk board yeah, paint. Because I have it. Rust-Oleum, you get a big can and it lasts you for a very long time and it's relatively inexpensive compared to Annie's, is it Annie? Yeah, go, go check my blog out from... I don't know, the beginning of the week because I posted the hutch that I got from Craigslist. I finally painted it. With that same awesome. stuff. So you don't have to sand. You Sometimes we don't even wipe stuff down. You just slap a coat of paint on it <laughs> and it's good to go. All right. That's all. Oh, oh, and um, Amy wanted to know, have you used Monaco at Michael's with good results? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And from Hobby Lobby. Even that. No problems. We, MCG we, textile Yes, we stuff bought that work. to do four snowfall and it's fine. So. You're good to go. Okay, so for previous finishes this week, I have two with thigh needle and thread patterns, and I did not write down the names. So, these I stitched last year, so if you want to see more about them, you can go to my blog. But I found this wood piece at Michael's, and I added the little trim piece to the top. I painted it. This is paint from my kitchen. Use Red gingham, have. torn and ruffled, and it's so cute. And some ribbon that's made out of lace and a cover button and it hangs on my green hutch in the or green cabinet in the hallway and this one i think what did i say the name was the last time we did the video I'm not sure. <laughs> springtime social maybe anyway another with thy needle and thread i also did this last year i found the pedestal frame at michael's it's metal so the magnets on the back of the piece stick to it and it's adorable and this fabric i dyed the brown with writ dye yeah, this is... It's Monaco that I dyed brown. But like Chelsea said, it did shrink. That It's small. Um, she had extra, so I took the extra piece to mm -hmm. stitch the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, stitch the same thing. And um, it, it's hard. So right <laughs> now it's in its timeout bin because it's, it's hard for me. Okay, um, and then my finish... This is Welcome Spring from Country Cottage Needleworks. And I don't know if you remember this fence from Christmas Rules, but the magnets are on the back side of it. So on the front side, I did the uh, Welcome Spring and I mounted this on sticky board. There's a layer of orange gingham, a layer of black gingham, and a layer of chalkboard. And then I found this sign at Hobby Lobby and I attached it with some gingham. I added bows and carrots that I found at uh, Walmart. Walmart and it's so cute so go over to my blog and read all about it we've been on a hunt for these because if you watch any decor videos or anything you see all of these carrots and they can be very expensive at like Michael's and Hobby Lobby even with the 40% yeah, they're only like three dollars at... two thirty four I think at uh, Walmart so if you're looking for carrots go get them at Walmart mm -hmm. so... sorry Hobby. But Every time I finish something, I do a blog post about it, and I give you all the details, like where I fi find the pieces or whatever. And so, so you can just look make on that there. your first stop is to click the blog post to read about it instead of asking where did you get that because <laughs> it makes it a lot easier for all of us. All right, and then uh, I had finished April Wordplay. So if you follow Brenda Gervais uh, with a needle and thread on Facebook, she made a post saying that these are not being discontinued. Um, you can get all of them online at Country Stitches through her They're website. They're just harder to find at other stores because I think everybody snapped them up. So this is on the old and crusty um, tray that mm -hmm. we had gotten last flea year market, at a yeah. flea market. Yep. And so this was what my October one was on. Again, you just put magnets on it. This is metal, so it sticks and right to it. And painted with chalkboard paint in the back. And then the bow, I also put on a magnet so she can... 
Change it out. And it's on a blue homespun fabric. Right. All right. So those are our finishes this week. It's hard to get it straight when I'm sitting behind it. Okay, and then for whips, another Brenda Gervais. There's a, a theme here, isn't there? I, I love her stuff for the spring and Halloween and Christmas. This is Easter Parade, and I am changing the colors. And I've been asked if I will share the colors, and yes, I will, but I haven't nailed down all of them yet, so that's why I haven't. Sometimes she's able to look through a pattern and get the colors right away, and sometimes she has to kind of play with it to see what's going to work best. So yeah, it's and I, when I give it to you, I want to give you all of them. But I just love this. And remember we said that this is like tartan plaid from Classic Color Works, this blue color? It's so pretty. What is the color of the bird? Mm-hmm. I did a little bit more yesterday for Fall Friday stitching on my autumn leaves from Prairie Schooler. She's doing the bigger one. She's already done the smaller ones. I started the second in the Farmhouse Christmas, and I am changing something up in this, and I can't wait to show you when I'm finished, and hopefully I get it done tomorrow. Do my Santa Sunday stitching. This is a weird shaped piece of fabric, so remember I said I was going to start these? Well, I did one of the chickens. Guys, she's moved from floss <laughs> to just fabric. Just <laughs> I hate to cut it until I know how big I need it. I'd like to... Good concern, my stuff. <laughs> this <laughs> prairie schooler welcomes spring. So I have I haven't fully decided. Yeah, I know. I said it's weird, but look at how cute. And I did it in black instead of like there's a navy blue background in some and a brown background in some, but I did it on black so I wouldn't have to stitch all that. So I finished that in a couple hours, but I can't decide if I want to do like a strip of them. Or if I want to do them separately and hang them all together, I'm, the jury's still out on that. The jury's still out. Mm -hmm. I got to watch a lot of Judge Judy when I was here. We don't have cable at home. I use like Hulu, Netflix, Apple TV. And so I got to watch like Judge Judy and all those shows while I was at Mom's. Live PD. Mm -hmm. Lots of you love Live PD and that made me really excited. She's addicted. It's terrible. When, when it comes to like 8 o'clock on the weekend, she's like, it's, uh, <laughs> it's live PD on. <laughs> There's some handsome cops on there. Oh, right? my gosh. <laughs> and the dogs. The dogs are like the best part of it. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so my whips. Um, I started Lizzie Kate's Seasons. Uh, so this is a great chart for beginners, too. There's just small motifs that you're able to... There's a lot of color changes in it. Mm -hmm. um, and then she charts it for DMC as well. So you can start off with a relatively inexpensive chart that you have four pieces for. You have all four seasons. Mm -hmm. And you can finish it like Mom finishes it and swap them out. Okay, so I started spring right here. Mm -hmm. I am pulling colors from... Um, my yeah, stash. since they're, they're so small, you can just do whatever. All right, so I'm almost done, and then That's I'll cute. finish that cute in a probably in a frame to mount. And then I had some. So I, st if you follow me on Instagram, I started using that scrubby stuff, and I mixed it with um, the crochet cotton. It it turned out like a lap cloth, not a dish rig. <laughs> so I didn't. I'm not gonna show that one. Um, I started this one, and then I ran out. I really love these colors. This is sugar and. Is it sugar and cream? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then um, I love this. I love this yarn. Yarn cotton, cotton is what I started this one on. Um, and it's sparkly. It's sparkly. I am going to try to make these. Um, I'm going to try to make a bunch and make a little stack so I have something to give for like. Um, teacher gifts or something. Teacher gifts, Mother's Day type situations that, you know, with a baby I might just be frazzled. Mm -hmm. So, Christmas, whatever the case may be, I think that's a nice touch to add to a gift. While Chelsea was here, she took all my scraps of yarn and balled them all up for me and straightened it all out. I'm I'm a nester, apparently. Mm -hmm. I just want to organize and clean. But that's how I, I I've lock always down been. The basement. <laughs> <laughs> I've always been like that. I'm more like, let me clean my stuff before I start a project. That's why it takes me so dang long to start a project. So. I'm kind of just like, move over. <laughs> Uh, and you go, I should just take pictures. She'd be so mad if I posted them, but I just threw something. Um, okay. The so. chair's empty. Somebody come take it. That's rude. 
Hurry. <laughs> somebody said that they wanted Save me. <laughs> somebody said they wanted to be a co-host for a day or something when I go out on maternity leave. <laughs> my, like, my youngest we'll son and I were in the kitchen last week and she came in there and she was like, <laughs> and we were like, oh my gosh, we're scared. <laughs> They're saying I have. You can't mess anything up when she's around. I organized. So I did. My brother moved back in from his apartment. And instead of like keeping his clothes clean, he's like, oh, everything's dirty. (laughs) Everything that he hasn't worn since 2012, (laughs) it's all dirty. And so I did all his laundry and I folded it and I put it away. And I was like, if this gets messed up next week when I come, because I'm going to come check, we're going to have problems. So we were huddling in the corner, (laughs) afraid. Make her something. Make her some food, Mom. <laughs> All right, what do you got for haul? Oh. I'm really not that bad. I just like <laughs> things in their spots. Yeah, it's definitely a theme. <laughs> All right. So, oh, wow. I ordered from Jen Stitching Niche, and I already have them. Niche. And she sent me a specialty Oh, gentle arts, too. This is pretty. All right, so she ordered these this week. This is Blessed Bee. With thy needle and thread. And as soon as the video is done, we're going to go to Crystal Lake to welcome Stitchery to their market day. And we can't wait. Um, (laughs) Basket full of springtime. We will change our shirts before we go. (laughs) I'm changing my shirt for sure. Um, And hen and chicks. That's just one of those days. I mean, even the little chickens on the back are cute. There was a lot of good patterns. Oh my gosh. There's the so market. There's so many. Um, and congratulations, Teresa Kitten Stitcher, for deciding that you're going to be a designer full time. We're excited we're for you. We're excited. Mm-hmm. You got that haul. Oh. Chelsea made me do this. Um, so if you rewind a few videos back, I don't have time for a quilt, Chelsea. <laughs> and then now, 12 quilts later, she's got two more jelly rolls that she ordered. So, um,. The fabric that I'm making my string quilt out of, she's going to make one too. It's called Farmer's Daughter. Mm-hmm. It's by Moda, I believe. Yeah, Moda. I got a really good deal on it, so. She got a good deal. These are right up our alley. The checks, the mm-hmm. all the colors, they're kind of muted, so, um, I, I mean, it's. Yep. It I makes it easy, too. String quilt. Scrappy string quilt. Mm-hmm. All right. And we're um, going to try that quilt as you go, right? Yep. Yep. Okay, and yeah. then you have haul, right? Yeah, I got some more yarn. I didn't bring it because uh, yarn is 30% off at Hobby Lobby this week, just so you know. <laughs> Until today. Uh, yeah, and DMC Floss is on sale. At Joann's. Yeah, 33 cents. Walmart. So any of you getting into the quilting thing, if you want to make like a quick table runner, uh, Walmart actually has like really cute springtime mm-hmm. fabrics. Yep. That these are 97 cents for a fat quarter, so you can make a cute table runner out of it. Um, and then I think that's it for my haul. Yes. Okay. And then, like I said, we were really gifted this week. Like, oh my goodness. All right. So Tina is a quilter and a cross stitcher, and she sent us. She's cleaning out her stash, so maybe she's like nesting like me. <laughs> Um, and she sent us beautiful fabrics that mm-hmm. we cannot wait to use. And a bunch of charts and a quilt book. Uh, I mean, you guys. I, uh, I, I don't know. Um, but I, I have to tell Tina that the, the, the town that she's from, we've been there because my son went to junior college there. Oh, mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Um, look at this. Sheeps. Sheeps. Um, I don't know if, you, well, maybe some of you don't know. I was going to attach a picture or a video at the end of this. So I was going to do this balloon bursting with confetti to announce what we were having. I still didn't know yet, and I just got tired of waiting. Oh, you know what you're having? Yes, I know what I'm having. Oh. <laughs> she knows, too. Um, so I just opened the envelope. So all along, I thought I was having a girl, and I feel so guilty because I've been calling this baby like a she this whole time. Um, and we are having a boy, so I'm really excited I am used to boys. I grew up with all boys. My uh, nephews, I have three nephews. I have no nieces. So this is going to be just another wrestler, a wrestler, WWE wrestler to add mm-hmm. to the bunch. So we're really excited. Um, but these fabrics are going to be perfect. I had to return a lot of girl stuff that I had bought. <laughs> so. 
Hola. And then we got, do you have the, the Easter card right there? That's, and those charts are from Anne. Anne. And Anne Look sent us card. all of her Monaco that she couldn't use anymore, and she sent us a lot. And we are so thankful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And uh, lots of charts, and we just, like I said, we are blessed by all of you. A lot. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. So, we have a winner for the FOBs. Yes. So, uh, Sampling of Memories, uh, if you haven't checked her out, check out her Etsy, check out her website, check out her uh yeah, there Instagram. was a link to her in our last yep. video. So uh, she sent us those beautiful scissor fobs and thread keeps, and then we're sending you guys one she winner sent, a yes, two, uh, set of them. So two thread keeps and, and one, one scissor. scissor fob. All right, so without further ado, uh, Shell Plays With String, you have won these. So if you can, reach out to us. Two places is better than one. Instagram, Facebook, on her Facebook page, uh, through private messenger on YouTube. However you want to get a hold of us, pigeon, owl, right, however, yes, is easy for you. And then, what was the lady's name from? Janet. Okay. She so sent Janet, these. Sent, we mentioned these in their last video. She sent these um, as a giveaway for our viewers. So these are um, Mill Hills Purple Chick and White Chick. So we're going to have two viewers, two winners. Um, so what you're going to answer your favorite food for Easter Favorite food for Easter or if you don't celebrate Easter your favorite springtime food like artichokes stuffed oh. with Breadcrumbs and, and parmesan cheese. Yeah, mm-hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. And you scrape up. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever had it, but you should mm -hmm. we'll do a cooking with Real Housewives here soon <laughs> Who are you gonna get to do that with? You. Oh. I'm gonna back you in the corner like I did last <laughs> week. <laughs> I'll organize your whole stash downstairs if you make me artichokes. All right, so after this video, we are going to go to... Welcome Stitchery in, in Crystal, Crystal Lake. Lake. And hopefully pick up some more stash yes. to show you in next week's video. And hopefully everybody hasn't bought it all so we can't get any. Don't forget, don't say giveaway, don't mention that we're giving anything away for free because then and, people And you should just probably put your preference. Purple or white. Yeah, purple or white. And these are little spring ornament you guys know type that of I things. Want the and they're one. beaded and and you have all the floss. They're kits. Mm -hmm. Millhill kits. But we thank you, Janet, for giving these to us to give away. Alright, so that is all we have for this week. Again, if you missed it, I'm having a baby boy. I'm huge now. I had to go into maternity pants. Mm -hmm. She's carrying the St. Bernard. I, it feels like it. It really does. Like, my <laughs> ribs hurt. And then I look at pictures of Abby and I'm like, whew, okay. Alright, so we will see you next week. Bye.